Hey there folks, it's been quite some time. I think it's been uh, about, I want to say nine months since I even uploaded some music. I think it was for Symphonic Rain. Uh, <laughs> I don't even want to know how long it's been since I've done a review. But I'm hoping to rectify that here. It's not going to be a traditional review, but for anyone who has uh, seen Let's Plays, sort of where there is a person playing a game and they do commentary as they go through the game, I want to sort of do something like that here. I want to take an extended look at the game, uh, and while I'm doing that, I just want to uh, commentate and sort of talk about the game because I've, I've finished all the scenarios, I've finished the game itself, um, you know, and just talk about various things. I'll probably talk about other games as well, do some com some comparisons, uh, you know, just various things like that. Just talk about what's going on, poke at the characters, just have fun with it. It probably won't be quite as easy to, you know, get a consolidated, oh, this is what I think of this game in a short period of time as it would be for a traditional view, traditional review. But uh, at the same time, this is so much easier for me to set up. I'm going into this basically with zero setup, uh, which honestly, uh, doing those reviews I do, like, they take a good amount of time. I know that they're not all that impressive, but there's still a, a decent amount of work. This will take, you know, longer for me to render and, and put together and sync up the audio uh, because I'm recording the audio with a camera but screen capturing with a, with a different program. Uh, so, you know, that'll take a little bit more work, but it'll still save me a lot of time from having to write a script and poorly try to read it as if uh, I was not reading a script and such as that. So, I don't know. I, I want to see what people think of this format. Do people like this sort of mini let's play thing or not uh this we're about to go to the opening cinema but sadly this screen recorder does not capture that so we're just going to warp right into the game but one way or another uh please you know let me know if you've seen any of my other reviews if you prefer this sort of format or the original uh i'm sure there's pros and cons to both with this you'll certainly get to hear more about what i think of more about the game, you know, different parts, sort of. You know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna give away the game. I'm not gonna, uh, you know, show a super ton of it. But I'll probably do, you know, maybe, maybe even four videos, maybe an hour of footage, something like that. You know, sort of give you a preview, and at the same time, I'll be talking about, uh, you know, this game and again other stuff as well. So, you know, hopefully some people enjoy this. I think that uh, most people who are probably immediately interested in Decapo 2 probably have already done their homework and know if it's something that really interests them. But at the very least, you know, if anyone who just sort of like, oh, I've, I've heard about that Decapo game or anything, something like that, you know, maybe if they're interested mildly, this will sort of give them a good idea about what they might be able, might be able to expect if they did get it, if it's for them or not, you know, that kind of thing. So yeah, let's uh, let's get into what's going on. Uh, I will give you three guesses as to what's going on here. I think we've probably already figured it out. Because this is obviously reality. Oh, Japanese. They love their sister thing, even if they're not, you know, it's like, Oh, we're not really related, but we're like siblings. And this is another situation of that. Because this fellow lived in the same house with these two girls who are sisters for years. They're like siblings. And so, of course, here we are. Yoshiyuki having a dream, as he's just realized. And proclaiming that he is a god in his dream. Oh no. Oh god! Oh. That's the worst feeling. Having a great dream. Not even necessarily of that nature. I don't know. You're eating something delicious even. And then the alarm goes off or something. She says, oh, God, really? Come on. Haven't I worked hard enough to... Oh. You scared me too. So here we have our comedy relief characters, or well, two of them, 
Uh, most characters act like uh, goobers <laughs> for a lot of the game. The game does not take itself too seriously, uh, except for in the later parts of a scenario, generally. Uh, so, thankfully, the game is full of laughs. Uh, some of them, of course, are... It, it's hit and miss. There are some parts that it thinks are pretty funny, but are really cliched. Of course, that sort of uh, stereotypical harem anime humor. But, you know, you do have some genuinely good laughs in there, and even then, I'm not ashamed to admit that I'm a guy who can enjoy cliched things if I think they're presented... They're presented well, you know? Like, I, even, like, the, the whole ridiculous innocence of, uh, of the characters in a lot of these games and such as that, it can be charming even though you know it's ridiculous, right? You know, that kind of thing. So, I don't know. Oh, that is cold, Suginami. <laughs> Prime Evils. Man. It's like the name of a terrorist group or something. Come on, we're just three. Airheads, okay, that's that's good enough. So yeah, um, <laughs> I don't think I need to say this at this point, but you are uh, you are Yoshiyuki. You are in high school, and we are planning for the Christmas party that is upcoming here, or we're <laughs> we're supposed to be at least, but we're interrupting things. You know, sleeping, hanging out with Wataru and Suginami, making a nuisance of ourselves. Oh, time to meet one of the heroines! And I have to say that actually, before I played this game, the reason I actually was really excited about it coming out, I, like, I bought this the night it came out. Uh, <laughs> I, I was super excited for it. Uh, is because I saw the anime for Decapo 2 actually, um, you know, long before the game came out in English, which if you're interested in the game, you go to mangagamer.com, mangagamer.com, that is. And, uh, it's available there for, I want to say, like, $40, $45, something like that. It's been a while, that was December. Um, but anyway, the, the anime, I really enjoyed the characters in it. Again, a lot of them are, are pretty cliched and such as that, but once again, there's a lot of charm to the characters, even the main character, you know, he's, I don't, he, he's just, he's still got that stupid protagonist syndrome going, like, and he's got it going pretty hard, too, which, god, you just want to punch him in the face sometime, but at the same time, you know, they, they mean well, and, uh, also have to say that another reason I really want to play the game is because I hated who they matched the main character up with in the anime. I know that a lot of people really love Otome, who is the girl that they paired the main character up with in the anime, which I guess I should have said spoiler alert there, but whatever. Um, spoiler here, uh, the main character can get with one of the heroines, I know you're shocked. But <laughs> I don't know, I do not like Otome very much. Um, I like pretty much all of the other heroines better than her. And so I was like, I have to play this game just so I can get the tale of Yoshiyuki with someone else. But, uh, you know, the scenario is it's pretty good. Um, better than the first Decapo. And uh, while we're on the topic of that, I, I want to talk a little bit about uh, Decapo versus Shuffle. That seems to sort of be a comparison that gets made. Uh, pretty often. And right here we're meeting uh, Coco, who is another one of the heroines, by the way. Um, on the left we have Anzu, who is another of the heroines. Akane there with the pink hair. She actually is not, though I believe she is in one of the expansions, which we don't have here. This is like the original PC version we have translated here uh, in English. But that's neither here nor there. So anyway, going back to Decapo versus Shuffle. Um, I've heard that Actually, Shuffle is Manga Gamer's best-selling game, which I can sort of understand, because I've always thought that Shuffle has really, really great character designs. And, like, the interface for the game is great, too. It's just really colorful. It just it has a lot of visual appeal to it. 
um, both in the game, the anime, which of course there's that crossover appeal from the anime as well. Um, I was actually in very interested in the Shuffle game after watching the anime too. Um, I have to say I was pretty disappointed. Uh, Shuffle the anime, in my opinion, is considerably better than Shuffle the game. Whereas I thought that the DiCapo anime was nowhere near as good as DiCapo the game. Um, and that actually goes for the second one too. I really love DiCapo 2 the anime, but I should say I think DiCapo 2 the game is actually a lot of fun too. Uh, you know, you can't go in expecting an epic story. It's a, it's a high school story. You know, it's a story of you know love and romance overcoming these high schooler problems with a little bit of fantasy thrown in, uh, that kind of thing. But I've always thought that DiCapo's scenario was considerably better than Shuffle's, and that's a, the problem I have with Shuffle. I think that Shuffle has a ton of potential with the sort of storyline they established. You know, the gods and devils, or demons, whatever they call them, uh, sort of come to Earth. You know, they, they leave heaven and hell. But they aren't like the traditional, you know, Christianity, demons and angels, or whatever. They're, you know, they're fallible, kind of like us. They're just, they just have powers. Um, but I feel like they really dropped the ball with that. There, there's a lot they could have done. Um, but in Shuffle, not a lot happens. No scenario, I played all of them, none of them really gripped me. Uh, again, I thought the anime, uh, the one that they went with in the anime, was better than it was presented in the game. And in DiCapo, I thought that the scenarios were just more gripping. In particular, the pacing in Shuffle is terrible. It is awful. They never build anything up, so you never really have time to get invested in anything. Uh, whereas in Decapo, things are paced much more deliberately. Uh, the scenes are longer. They aren't just, okay, zip, we've established something happening here, uh, and so we're moving on to another day. I don't like that about Shuffle. Um, and Decapo does a much better job. At the same time, I think the original Decapo, you know, didn't have anywhere near the visual appeal of Shuffle, neither from, you know, the interface, uh, the color. The colors, uh, even even character designs for the most part, I thought in Shuffle were, you know, considerably better than DiCapo. DiCapo 2 takes a lot of visual steps forward uh, in character design and uh, such as that, in my opinion. Uh, though they do have uh, two characters that are a lot like the ones from the original. But, uh... Yeah, let's see, how much time we got left? I got a little bit longer. I'm trying not to go off on a tangent and continue into running into the timer of 15 minutes. So, I want to review Shuffle and, of course, the original Decapo sometime. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll do it like this or my original format or whatever. I'll see what people think and, and just see how much more trouble uh, it is to do this compared to... or how much less trouble it is to do this than the original review format and stuff like that. But, you know, hey, at least I can say, hey, I got a video up! Yay! But, uh, yeah. I've been jabbering so much, I haven't even really been paying attention to uh, too much what's going on. I know that we've reached the point where they're talking about the puppet show. Uh, they suggested that, that Yoshiyuki be the main character and Koko be the female lead. And uh, Suginami wants a haunted house. So we have the puppet show versus the haunted house here. And the class president doesn't really care, uh, as long as something gets decided. But of course, there are people who are torn. Some people want the puppet show, and some people want the haunted house. Those two girls, Anzu and Akane, are uh, friends with Coco, and they, uh, they actively sort of try to push Coco towards Yoshiyuki. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and cut off here, because the timer is getting close to, uh, to the limit. So, thanks for watching, and uh, the next video should be up soon.